Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, hello. All right, switched over to cam. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to yet another good old-fashioned odd taxi drawing stream. To anyone who's uh, watching this like two minutes into the stream or anything like that. Uh, it, week's been okay. Uh, you know, some anxiety here and there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, fucking, if you hear any background noise, I got like, I got my window open because it's just like, it's, it's really hot and, um, you know, just, that's the reason why I'm wearing a tank top doing this right now. So, anyways, uh, where we last left off, uh, we were doing, uh, fucking, what was it? We were working on a mystery kiss. Yeah, that's, those are the drawings we were doing before. Um, I just need to open up some of the other, sorry about that, that didn't mean to cause a glitch. Uh, just need to open up some of the images I was looking at as references and then pull up, uh, let's see here. Pull up the artboard. There we go. I keep calling it the artboard, but that's not accurate, actually. So. And for what it is, like, honestly, like, it actually doesn't look too bad so far. It's just it needs, um, it needs detail. To make sure that the characters are much more, you know, much more dynamic, much more fluid, much more lively. To make sure that the dresses don't look as, don't look as so, you know? Um, that's, that's exactly what we gotta take care of here. So I'm gonna be, as per usual, uh, we'll be doing this for about an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, just need my fucking phone with me. So that way I can time myself so that way I'm not staying up too late. <clears throat> now then so uh let me see here just need to get the as per usual uh we'll be doing this for about an hour and 30 minutes and if i have any spoons in me i'll do it for like maybe 30 minutes longer or 10 minutes longer I'll try to get this character... I'll try... Our goal tonight is to try and get... At least to get Mystery Kiss done. Uh, because I want to focus on getting this shit done. Uh, and then, aside from that, we still have the Daimona Brothers. We still have the Homo Sapiens to draw. Um, well, actually, yeah, if I, if I could just zoom out and just show you what, we, what we're working with here. Um, let me see here. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we still have, we already have this road done, for you and all those guys. We still have uh, the floating heads bit done. I just learned what that was. It was like a movie poster thing with floating heads. Because like, my thing with uh, movie posters, the thing about movie posters, the thing that makes it interesting is if it's like not too visually cluttered. and You can distinct everything from another. You know, if it's a floating head... But like it's stylized in a way where you can do, you, where you can pick upon everything that's happening. It's like okay, good. I can I can make out everything. Like the Knives Out poster is an ensemble poster, and they do a great job at using it. I call them ensemble posters because it's more than one person in a fucking cast member. Anyway, uh, so in terms of like the green characters, we have, uh, and I'm I'm sure I'll make this red or blue. Probably red. Uh. Um, let's see here. We'll fucking do, uh... <clears throat> we'll do the Diamond Brothers, then we gotta do the Homo Sapiens, and then we gotta do the fucking taxi car. And then after that, after... Yeah, because then after, th after those are done, we'll basically have the rough version of this drawing done and ready to go. But, right now... We are going to focus this stream, these next few streams, and at least getting these characters done. They're not done yet. Like, the detail's not all there yet. So, uh, we'll just, uh, chillax and then, uh, take care of that. If I have some extra time, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. Anyways, same thing as usual. Hour and 30 minutes. 
Set a timer for an hour and 30 minutes. And here we go. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Got the dresses here and there. There's another really good picture of them somewhere around here. Is it the same design skirt, I wonder, for all these characters? Because the thing about skirts is that they always have those uh, different designs. <sighs> it's it's uh, it's pretty it's it's a little late if you can tell. Well, not really though. It's like the night is still young. It's like ten twenty two. Fuck! Only a minute in, and I fucking spit on the tablet. Shit! Excuse me. So gross. Maybe I should wear a mask while I do this. I I'm sure I've said that before. Um, let's see here. We need to add those fold loop. Fo I mean, folds. There's this thing about cloth where there's like a cre there's a crease and then there's like a there's an area where it you know it fucking uh what is the word it there's a pinch and then there's fucking folds and shit I don't know hmm. I do got some ideas for, like, other, like, uh, fucking tier lists I can do. I got, like, an... I got, like, a huge-ass playlist on my Spotify of, like, anime soundtracks that I listen to. Oh, and speaking of anime stuff, I've been, uh... I recently finished the first half of the first part of Naruto, like, in the manga, specifically. The parts, the, the part of the manga that is, like, you know, outside of the, uh, what is it? Like, but just before the Shippuden storyline, I'm assuming. Because that's, that's what came to me when I first fucking saw the show. You know, in terms of Naruto, like, when it comes to that show, uh, I... I've never watched it like in its entirety. I was just so I, I I knew it existed as a kid, but I never actually pursued it the same way that most of my other friends in high school did or school did. Because like their friends were just like super obsessed with it, like more so than Dragon Ball Z when I was in elementary school. Like I'd see people like bring in like like they would talk like they would talk about video like I'd see people go into computer labs and look up uh naruto music videos and shit and i did have a slight fascination in the series but in the sense of like um in the sense of like i like the way the show looked and i was kind of excited by the aspect of uh of a character you know turning into a fucking monster because that's because i was like oh shit because like that's the reason why i liked dragon I, that's one of the reasons i it's always transformations, like, whenever characters have transformations, like, whether it be, like, you know, characters, uh, turning into the Hulk or whatever, or if it's just, like, a uh, Hulk monster or whatever, like, the transformation episode is one of my favorite tropes in media. Ah, uh, this doesn't look right. Okay, just need to... There we go. Hmm. Just 
need to make sure that these uh, skirts are properly layered because it's like a double a double skirt. Like there's two layers to it. Like there's the dress and then there's the skirt. Um. Yeah, but before I do the Naruto uh, sheep and end stories, I'm probably gonna dig into fucking the movies specifically because the movies will be like my first exposure to the anime in the sense of like hearing you know the English voices of Mally Flanagan, Yuri Lowenthal, Kate Higgins, uh, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, especially. Um, it was like it was like early shit, man. It was it was good, good show. From what I've seen so far, I watched the first episode of the anime on because it's like on Netflix. The series like. It has like the same issues as the chap as the first chapter of Naruto in that it's like this it's like this giant ass exposition dump and unfortunately that's not really the anime's fault. Um though to be fair, you know, there have been shows that have like, you know, improved upon the source material, but I think they just wanted to play it safe in that case because they just wanted to like, you know, be as faithful as possible, which is fair, you know. But goddamn, really? I don't like how detailed that shit is, but that part. Just need to erase this crap. Hmm. Fuck, man. Does that look right? Well, let's see here. Yeah, that's good. The folds of the dress. Her head off. Closing the goddamn door now. That's a, that's a song. That's a classic right there. Used to hear it all the time when my sister would fucking do uh, Sing Star and karaoke and fucking just sing that song on full blast. Okay, uh, I wonder what other tier lists I could do. I'm sure there's like a Sonic thing I could do. I could probably do one on Sonic stages that I've played through in the classic era. You know, while we're talking about Sonic, let's let's talk about that Sonic Frontiers gameplay reveal. You know, I, I was, I remember in this, a few streams back, I was like saying like, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this game turns out good, and then I saw the fucking, and then I saw the, I saw the gameplay trailer and I was super disappointed. I was like, wow, really? This is all they got to show? Because, like, my first reaction was, like, I mean, it looks okay, but then, like, the more I looked at it, the more bored and disappointed I got with it. I was like, wow, this is really all they have to show. And I'm like, that's, that's so lame. And I just was like, wow, that's, you know, I... <clears throat> I was just like, no, 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 no. I'll say that. I'll, I can say for certain, unless, like, things turn around for the game. Like, I'm hoping the game turns it around. But right now, I am. I have no plans of buying it. Like, just right now, I have no plans of buying it. And it's... I, I don't take pride in saying that, because they're... Because, <clears throat> like... Fuck. Because I don't, like... I don't want to give into the idea, the mentality of all 3D, so like Sonic is just not meant to work in 3D. I, I, I hate that mentality so much. I think that idea is way too pessimistic. Um, I think Sonic can work in 3D because there are fans out there that want to fucking do the same thing, that, that understand how these games work and want to make it work in the best way possible, you know? And, yeah, just, it's, please, just don't be cynics about it, please. 
I understand that, like, you know, Sonic has let us down a couple times, but it, I say a couple, and I know it feels like a lot, but it really, it's only been a couple times, honestly. And, and I can understand why, because, you know, develop, game development can take a long time, which is fair, but it's like, guys, just, you know, don't, it's like, I'd say, like, but I do think it's important that we just, you know, we vote with our wallets and say, like, hey, I don't want to pay for this. Like, this, this is, like, no. Alright, and then we gotta add a little... some of the extra lines that do not belong. Okay, save on me, Kaido. I feel bad for like you know the, the some of the actors going to conventions right now and just getting sick because it's like fuck it's like e like it just reminds you that we're still in the heat of this pandemic and even though we have vaccinations and we're taking as many precautions as we can people are still catching it it's like fuck man it's like but hey you know just at least they got vaccinated and they're still doing fine for the most part it's just but catching it just sucks you know it's like it's just, and it, it it's frustrating that some people still pretend that it's not happening. And but you know what can what can you do? You just you can try your best to be safe and still do all that shit. You know. You can only do what you can. This does not need to be here. This does not need to be here. That's a, a weird thing I do is that sometimes I'll like, I'll speak a certain way and I'll I'll drop certain words from my sentences for no reason. It's like my mind is like a computer and I'll just have autocorrect on and it'll just fucking I'll drop those words because I'm not thinking straight. There's a little line here, but this is probably not necessary considering that this line is here. Oh yeah, my, my dog Oliver is laying on the floor right now. Probably because it's really hot in here. Not just because of the machinery, but also just... Also because it's fucking... It's just, it's just hot outside. It helps to have a focused goal when you're drawing shit. Hmm. And the, and that Dragon Ball movie, I think it's coming out in like August, I think. Probably in English, hopefully. They haven't released any dub trailers yet, though. Not to my knowledge. I was a little worried. I think I mentioned this in the previous year. I was worried about the film because, like, I was like, really? CG? And I'm like, but hey, you know, 
not that it looked bad, but it was just like, but the Broly movie looked so good. And I'm like, why would you want to like not do that? And then you see the way the movie looks and it's like, oh, okay. All right. I see what you're doing. That's fine. I don't know I don't know anything else regarding the movie really I, I I'm about as in the dark as most people when it comes I've only seen trailers and I prefer to keep it that way so that way like you know nothing like surprise nothing like you know takes me by surprise there may have been like maybe a few like theory videos here and there and I'm hoping that Ugh, I I'm hoping that some of those theory videos have not, like, spoiled any movie details. Oh yeah, that Marvel series, that Captain Mar- that Miss Marvel series, that's coming up. I hope it's good. I my only worry about it is, um, you know, just, like... It looks- it's- I, I don't like that they- I, I don't like how they changed her superpower for a dumb reason I don't like that but um and I feel like we get fixed I know it's it seems silly to get fixated on something like well they just changed your power you know it's different stuff I'm like I get that but also like a superpower like that is so central to the character it, like it does make up the character in a sort of way like because it defines who they are as a person it's sort of like when Araki, like he often, like uh, Araki Sensei, whenever he makes his characters, a lot of them uh, are built around understanding how, uh, like, he'll often come up with a stand name or stand first before he comes up with the character, just for ideas and shit. That's what that's what I remember from reading his book, the, uh, the manga in theory and practice book. Which I still have it. It's just like it's hidden away somewhere in my like uh, crate full of hard books that are not comics or manga. Like somewhere down in the garage. Let me get that shit out at some point. It's a little frustrating that, like, I, hmm. So you have her shoes that go up to just the, just barely above her kneecaps. <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> to those wondering what song i'm humming it's uh the ending credits song to that anime film uh let me see here what is it josie the tiger and the fish i think it was called yeah it's about a girl who uh a girl a college-aged girl who's like who's disabled like she has she uh she rolls around in the wheelchair and and the relationship she forms with this dude who wants to like study abroad and look like do like just look for fish and stuff you know and it's a very heartfelt story very good it's like it's sort of like a silent voice meets toradora Because the the handicapped girl is a, is very similar to Taiga, and I saw that movie with I actually saw that movie with the English cast. Like I was I wasn't in the movie, but I uh, I 
like Zeno Robinson put out a tweet saying that the movie was going to be screening somewhere and that he'd be going there with the cast, and I said, fuck it, I'll go. And I just so happened to sit in the same row as most of the cast members, and I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? Like, I, like, it, I just chose, like, the back seats. I'm like, this will be a good seat. And then, lo and behold, the, f the voice actor who plays the main character in the movie, Howard Wang, sits right next to me. And I'm like, I'm like, are you Howard Wang? Yeah. And I say, oh, I'm Kai. And I'm like, oh, shit. And that was, uh, that was a magical moment. And I will never forget that. I felt, I felt very welcomed to be around them. After this, maybe I'll watch, like, I, I may need to flip, yeah, I, I'll watch, like, Ranking of the Kings, and if I have enough spoons in me, I'll watch a Naruto movie. Because, like, fuck, man, it's hard to watch shit without falling asleep. Especially, like, the later it gets, and the more, the longer you work at night's. Oh yeah, and other, uh, other voice actors that were there. Uh, Marissa Lenti was there. They were very nice. Uh, let's see here. Amber Lee Connors was there with with her uh, with her partner Howard. Um, Danny Chambers was there because she also voiced in the movie, and she was a super nice person, as I expected she would be. She's she's skinny mini on uh on Twitch. Go follow her. She's super cool. She she plays like Super Mario sixty four and stuff like that. She's she's she. Well, I appreciate any gamer who fucking plays the classic Mario stuff. They they always have my attention. And when it comes to Sasuke Uchiha as a character, um, yeah, I'm just because I'm th I'm thinking about this right now just because Naruto music is playing in my head in my music in my head. <laughs> the thing about uh, Sasuke Uchiha is that like I feel like that character lacks relatability or likability, and like he's not as likable because you I, I just can't really see I couldn't really see much good in him personally just because i felt like he was a bit too arrogant for his own good at the start and then even when you fleshed out his character more i just i just didn't care i was just like this dude is a fucking asshole and i felt like i don't know why it's just like i don't feel like he just earned hmm i don't think he earned sympathy personally it's like he had a hard life i'm like yeah but I can name like 10 other characters who had a harder time than you and they were 10 times more interesting. Like the more I read through uh, Naruto part one, like the more I realized, you know, I f it feels like uh, Kohei Hodokoshi looked at this and said, I like this, uh, here's my version. And then everyone fell in love with that version of it, myself included. Like I know that people, <clears throat> I know the criticism that would be railed towards uh, My Hero is that it's not very, is that it's a good show, but like does a lot of things that are done better in other anime. I disagree with that. I think this, I think it does a lot of things similar to anime, but it does, but it wears those tropes with pride, and I think that's something I, I respect My Hero Academia for that, and I love it for that reason. Like I respect Naruto for uh, at least taking chances with. Um, as much as like I'm sort of so so on some of the characters, I have a lot of respect for how uh, I I have a lot of respect for the amount of time and effort that Kishimoto puts into drawing his panels.
Jesus, fuck. There we go. I just hope that it still looks all right for the most part once we get back in with it. And we still gotta do the fucking other parts, like the, the bows on the shoe. I really hope this thing isn't too thick because that would fucking suck. I'll do three. Okay. Um, I'm gonna erase some of this, uh, I could probably just like do a little quick little boop. I keep them close every passing moment. Feels like it might change the world. Oh, yeah, the Amelie uh, version of the song is really good colors from uh, Code Geass. One of my favorite anime of all time. Despite all my worries and troubles and troubles you gave me hope I will never lose That's not a lyric that she wrote but it's it's in my head from like this one cover I heard a long time ago. It's still on YouTube somewhere if you look for it. Fuck. God damn it, no. There we go. Okay, that's good, I guess. All right. Ray 
erase, erase. That does not need to be there. Passing moment feels like it might change the world. You know, I think the best cover that Lee and Lee has ever done, that Amelie has ever done, period, uh, is that uh, Shogeki uh, ending from Attack on Titan season, Attack on Titan final season, the one from the first ending of that season. It's really good. I wonder what other anime songs I should add to my list of kick-ass songs. I already have Bluebird up there from Shippuden. I haven't seen or read Shippuden yet, but I, I will be very soon. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Something about that dress is kind of stinky looking. I gotta make it less stiff. Sorry, getting random notifications. I feel about this. There's something about it that feels off. The thing I, oh man. I guess that's the effect of like what happens when you haven't drawn for a while. You start to really nitpick. I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's just all mental games. I would say it's like riding a bike, but I've never I never learned how to ride a bike, so. I can drive though.
excellent. They all have, like, fucking ties around their legs and fucking... Everything else. Oh, my God. There is one bit in this show where they where a character makes a remark about someone's weight, and I was just like, oh, you don't need to do that. Why you gotta do that, man? Why you gotta take it there? Like, and, you know, it's just like, she's, she isn't even struggling, though. And I'm like, oh, if you put it this much on you, we're firing you. I'm like, don't do that, man. Why you, got, why you gotta be like that, man? I guess that's just, like, the fucked up idol culture. I don't know. It's still not okay, though. Ranking of King series is still really good. Still very fun. It starts out like lighthearted, and then in, like it gets in this very fun adventure uh, where they have to save the kingdom from something, and it's it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice it's a nice little thing. Very much like Seven Deadly Sins in that part. Like the, like you can see the One Piece aspect in it when it gets started, and you can see the uh, Seven Deadly Sins part of it as it continues. It's still really fun. With still with uh, Prince Boji, one of the most likable protagonists ever. There's still some character motives that I don't quite understand, though. I'm like, what? Where, like, a character made a decision. I'm like, but, but why did he do that, though? Was there something I missed? Uh -huh. I really don't like messy lines. Like, when it's just like, ugh. Well, when it's just like this, I, I like to keep things as clean as possible. Which I, I shouldn't be worrying about. I should try to make sure that I get back and fucking... At some point, I should probably do these characters first. Where? Go back and refine everything. Because they took me the fucking longest. If I sound resentful, it's because it's like, god damn, like dra cat, cat, cats and dogs and dresses, it's like, you, you'd think this would be easier. the first time I ever heard Fight Together. It was the first new One Piece opening I ever heard. Specifically, like, it was the first time I was like, oh, hey, a new One Piece opening is out, and then it was one of the fucking coolest openings ever. Like, it was just, it just felt good listening to it. Fuck! A common trademark of mine is that whenever I make a minor mistake or just do something that I don't like, I just politely go, fuck! Because it's like, you know, you want it to do something right, you don't want it to look like poop.
busy night tonight. At, at this point, I'm also adding a little bit of detail into the dresses. go she is covering a part of the dress though so that means I can't put too much detail at least not really I can at least show her bow tie though hmm. I'm thinking out loud or thinking to myself not quite out loud, as I should be doing. Trying to find it. There we go, that's better. <sighs> oh, my God. I just remember one of my favorite out of context Jimmy Neutron clips. It was like it's like this clip where uh where <laughs> he was walking out and then it just cuts to a fucking gasp and it, like the gasp just cuts away. It's great. It's a fucking amazing clip. It just because <laughs> it's so relatable. Fuck man. Jimmy Neutron had some funny fucking shit, man. Especially the guy who plays Hugh Neutron. Uh, was his name fucking Mark DiCarlo? And the fact that like he just embraces the meme so much, it's great. Hunter Hunter opening is now playing in my head. You can smile again. You can fly away. You can look at it up to do. I remember like actually being very excited when they got to Great Island to see oh man what kind of video game world is this gonna be and then they got there and I'm like oh this is nice and then they fucking did the actual game and the game itself was fucking lame because it was just it was like playing fucking 
it, it's like someone explained this to me. I think it was Chris that's uh, Chris Neosi that said this. It's like if it's like having Yu Gi Oh being explained by somebody who didn't understand what made Yu Gi Oh fun, or just like, oh wow, this is this makes Yu Gi Oh look this like the perspective of someone who would not like Yu Gi Oh at all. I guess I don't know. I just. Ugh, it just wasn't a fun it did not look like a fun game from what they were describing you gotta get cards in order to like escape or activate certain traps or attack people and it's just like ugh, that's just such a lame aspect of it, it wasn't fun at all i would have preferred if it was like something where they had to do like side missions and shit but no never mind i guess they gotta keep it fucking ridiculous with this stupid bullshit whatever <laughs> Fuck. Almost there with the fucking dress. Did I make her waist super small? I hope not. Do, 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 do. Soruja, Soruja, Pizzicata Sun. Fighting dreamers, Tagume says she they fighting dreamers. Kunikama Masi fighting dreamers. Shinjing the Kama Mari Ori 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 Oh, just go my way. Right here, right here, right now. You know, this opening is like the song is really good, but the opening itself is kind of crap. Like, there's just not that much to it. We are fighting dreamers. Fighting dreamers, Taiku Nikama was to fighting dreamers. Shinjing Nikama Mari, Ori, 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 oh, just go my way. Tiger, right here, right here, right now. Tiger, Tiger, Fighter, right here, right now. Oh, Tiger, Tiger, Fighter, Rider, right here, right now. Go! Tiger, 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 Fighter, Bam, Dana, 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 Hmm. Fuck, it's, you know, it's, ah, uh, it's the hand, dude. What 
fuck. It's just, it's so hard to do the pinky. Okay, so it's like, and then, um, almost there I can sense it we're getting there you know what actually just because just because my back is starting to get a little tired uh, and we still have like 37 minutes left we're gonna pause and we're gonna take a temporary break gonna stretch myself out a bit and then when we come back we're gonna keep working on these girls be right back, everybody.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, slight change of plans. We are going to uh, <clears throat> try and uh, get some of the basic details of this done in about 15 minutes or less. And then, uh, let's see here. About like 10 minutes or so. So that way we, we only have like a few more things to add here. So I'm just going to just knock this out. Let's see here. Daddy needs coffee. Hey, what's up? Don't worry. I, I just the reason why I'm rushing through this right now is because I uh, I'm actually gonna be like hopping off very soon because I want to like uh, watch the latest John Oliver because that just came out because it's it's Sunday. Um, let's see here. So uh, bow ties. Okay. All right. We'll fucking make corrections to the thing later. But yes, welcome, welcome, Daddy Needs Coffee. I, I, something that I wish I uh, had a taste for, because, you know, I love the smell of coffee, but I, I'm still adjusting to the taste. I, I still haven't found a taste for it. Can you that's not... Yeah. One of my a voice actor by the name of Kira Buckland, like she she loves coffee and I know a lot of other actors that do. And one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, some call me Johnny loves coffee, but like damn it's fuck it's just it's so a lot of the ones I drink are usually like super bitter, but it's like I'm like, how the fuck do I get into this? It's like an acquired taste. How the fuck do I develop a taste for this shit? Do I need to put milk in it or something? I know there's creamers. Ah, okay. Because I always drink it without milk, and I always assume that's the way you're supposed to, but I'm like, I guess I'm doing it wrong. Or at least I'm doing it the... the I'm doing it the basic way. <laughs> Shit! See, the thing about... The thing about drawing this stuff is that if you go too thick, it causes a smudge, and it's like, ugh, and it looks like ass if you don't draw it proper. No need to worry about the bow ties for these characters because the, no one's gonna fucking see. No one's gonna fucking see them. Something about that shoe doesn't look right to me. It's the shape of this toe here. Couldn't do what you have here if I had a month. <laughs> you know, the sad thing is, uh, this is my third stream with these particular characters, and it's been taking me forever just to finish them. You know? <laughs> so. But on the bright side, I at least. I, I at least have, like, you know, most of this shit done. Like, I have the the floating heads part done. I have the some of the key characters all written, written drawn out. The only annoying thing about it is just, like, fuck, it's, it's annoying to, like, you know, draw this stuff out because it takes fucking forever. Because you don't know, uh, you don't know how, the de how much detail you're going to be putting into certain things and how much you're going to have to fucking change out. I don't know if 
any of that made sense, but I like V. That's a phrase I've been saying a lot. I'm not I'm not even Jewish and I say Oy vey so much just out of habit. It's just become a part of who I am. Part of part of my vernacular. Forever is relative. Like, did you fart in here? Jesus. Alright, let's not fixate on the fucking shoes. Uh, let's put the fucking bow ties on the shoes and then the wrapping things, I guess. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to put... Ugh! Yeah, it's, it's starting to drag out of it, so I gotta... There we go. Uh... Gonna throw the shit on a pile of shit. Freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a... Don't tell a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a goes off on a pause, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a freeze, a oh no, man, far, 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 far. Hey, welcome aboard. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow, Daddy Needs Coffee. You say that in the, like, I'm, I'm listening to, like, uh, <laughs> I'm listening to that F song by, uh, Hormone, uh, uh Maximum the Hormone. That song that was used for fucking uh, Resurrection F. That DBZ movie. Just need to. Come on. Sometimes when you make the pressure like too thick or too small, you feel the need to add more pressure to it to make it proper. And I. Oh no. Oh, wait. Oh, no. What does the fucking shoe shit look like, dude? Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Uh, who cares? I'll correct it next time. Anyways, um... Okay, so... First wrap is right here. Okay. Okay. There we go. It's good. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of model sheet these characters must be referenced to when they fucking draw them out.
Okay, knock this one out. Come on. Yeah, and then I gotta work on the fucking. I still gotta remember that I have it. It's just me whining like the entire time when I draw. Like, fuck, it's a commission. Oh, no, no, no. This is just my own personal project. If this was a commission, I would have been fucking dropped immediately because it it's taking me way too long to work on it. I, I like I'm I'm at least good at like getting a character a d done on a thing, you know. So, so just, it's well, it's just it's true because it takes me it takes me too long to do one thing. I, I'm just being real. Like it's like I'm not saying it's bad. It's just like fuck. I'm I'm so slow. I could I could be quicker, but you know it's just like it ends up sloppy and then it messes up the final refinement. You know, I think it may be one of those. uh it might be one of those, like, cases of, like, maybe, like, the devils in the details sort of scenarios or something. I don't know. Maybe I just... Maybe I'm a very detail-oriented individual when it comes to my art. I wish I could treat it the same way I treat voice acting, where I just sort of go in balls, balls deep and just don't give a fuck if it's bad or not. You know, open up my third... Open up my third eye... Yeah, that, those are really nice words of wisdom to have. Appreciate that, man. Have I seen you hung around? I, I feel like I've seen you uh, hanging around a certain server around here somewhere. Not, not not necessarily this one, but like in another voice actor stream. I don't know. Maybe maybe I maybe my maybe I'm just having a weird case of deja vu. But it's just your your name looks super familiar. Up and out of places. That's fair. Alright. Gonna fix up this little thing here. You know what? Yeah, I know what the problem is. First of all, this one's ho this one's hooked like uh, clogs. You know those uh, like a it's a it's like one of those weird types of shoes. I don't know what it's from though. Uh, this needs to be pushed up a little more. I can fix that. Okay, deselect, save, and there's a few other things that we need to correct, like the sleeves and shit, but for now, this is what we got. As a part of the whole picture that we have, and this is what we, this is what we're working with right now. And then after that, we still got to... We still got to take care of the Daimon brothers, the Homo sapiens, and Otokawa driving around in his fucking taxi. And then after that, we can uh, we can declare the rough version of this drawing basically done. And then after the rough drawing is done, we can move on to doing refinements, and then we can start inking and coloring. My favorite part is coloring, personally. And then, uh, then I can, you know, proceed to work on other shit, and then... Yeah, all that stuff. So anyway, um, gonna, oh wait, shit, uh, bring back the green, and then zoom in on that so I remind myself where I need to work later, and with that in mind, uh, rapid fire, just cam, okay, gonna turn off my music so it doesn't bleed over when I raid my next person. Because that's the tradition here. We raid people uh, that have not 
let's see here. Um, I see Jesse is streaming. I see, fuck it. Let's 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 do it. Um, all right. So this I know this is gonna be a rough, a very rushed ending to this stream, but I'm just like you know what? Let's just fuck it. Let's just go for it. Why is it not showing up? Unless like they just went off. There's no. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, let me see here. Uh, please work, please work. And because I, I, the raid worked last time, so I don't know why it wouldn't. And go. Good. All right. Perfect. T uh, everybody, welcome. Thank you for coming on by. Uh, stay tuned next time when I draw more. Maybe I'll do another tier list or some shit. Uh, yeah. That that that's all, folks.